not a licensed physician, not giving medical advice. Uh, so people often confuse IUs and units. They think that there's just one IU. Like, that IU is a universal thing that applies to everything. It doesn't help that syringes often, instead of writing milliliters on them, they write IUs. So this syringe, for example, <laughs> you see it has IU and it says 100, 90, 80, 70, and so on. A lot of people don't even know what amount of substance they're taking. They just go by, oh, 10 IUs, 20 IUs. They don't know what that is in milliliters. They don't know what that is in milligrams of substance. They don't know what that is in IUs of substance because these IUs only correspond to insulin. Every substance has different IUs. IU is a measurement of effect generated in an organism from a certain amount of a substance. So it's like you have 10 different people, all different sizes, all different muscle mass, all different everything. You can have the, you can punch each of them the same, but they're all going to respond differently. So even though you have one uniform punch, there's going to be different IUs for each person to get this. Probably not the best example, but if you could change, because it's like backwards, because it's, we only care about humans and human organism is all pretty similar. So forget that example, but yeah. Different substances do different things and have different IUs because insulin is measured in insulin IUs. Human growth hormone is measured in human growth hormone IUs. Every substance has its own IU. So be careful. Don't think that because the syringe says 10 IUs, that you have 10 IUs of whatever you're using, unless it's insulin. Only insulin corresponds to these syringes. Well, I mean, unless you make something else and you purposely make it to be the same IU concentration per milliliter as insulin, which you're probably not gonna do, and you wouldn't, you're not a chemist, forget about it, just these syringes only correspond to insulin units. But you can always use a little bit of math and know that this is a one milliliter syringe and this is split into 10, oh, it does also say one milliliter. And you see that it's split into 10 parts. So that means each of these is a 10th of a milliliter, not just 10 IUs. Now, it might seem, what 10th of milliliter, 10 IUs? I get it, every 10th of a milliliter is 10 IUs. No, again, that is only for insulin. That's not for human growth hormone, that's not for semaglutide or something. It's only for insulin. So always look at the milliliters and know how many IUs of your substance are in each milliliter and do the math. If there are five IUs per milliliter and you want one IU, you need to take one fifth of a milliliter. That would be to the 20 mark, because that's one fifth of a milliliter. It's not 20 IUs. Your substance has five IUs per one milliliter. So if you take one fifth of that one milliliter, you have your one IU that you want. I need to stir my rice. I think it's pretty clear what I said. So again, unless it's insulin, the IUs do not correspond to the syringe. And another thing, so you see there's the markings, like 30, 40, etc. You need to know how many lines are in between each of those. So this one has one, two, three, four lines between each. That means from 10 to 20 is a five line difference, which means each of those lines is two, not one. So if you wanna get two IUs of insulin, you do not pull back 
to two of the little marks. You pull back to one of them, like it is right now, but it's not focused quite enough for you to see. It, it looks like two, because you see that line, but that line is the start line, it's zero. So this is pulled back to the first line, which is two I use. So all this stuff is very simple, and maybe, hopefully, you're a person who thinks, yeah, all this stuff, I already knew it, great. But a lot of people do not know this. I've met people who will take out one of these syringes and go to, let's just say, four lines on here and say, oh, I'm doing four, I use a growth hormone. I'm like, no, you're not. Those are eight insulin units, and your growth hormone, that's only... 0.8 growth hormone units because growth hormone is generally made one-tenth the concentration in IUs of insulin. So one milliliter of growth hormone instead of having 100 IUs like insulin has 10. So know your substance, know your syringes, know your basic math because for example if you bought growth hormone and you you think you're taking four IUs a day, but you're taking 0 0.8, and you think, oh yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling it. I, I've heard this, like, it's great stuff. You wouldn't believe the difference it makes. The person was doing 0 0.8 IUs of a substance that who knows if it was even growth hormone. I mean, great for him. He got the, uh, I forget the word, he got the placebo effect. That's great. But if you want to be getting real effects, not placebo, but even more important, if you don't want to have adverse effects from taking the wrong dose of a medication, potentially very severe adverse effects, you must know the medication, know the concentration, know your syringe, and know your basic math. That way you can get the correct dose of your medication. Even though I have gained a lot of body fat, these shoulder separations have returned a bit because I'm holding less water. It's amazing how that works. It's like so much more body fat, but less water, so more separations. I need to take a break, sadly. I would love to just go hard all the time, but I have to take a break. Many reasons, not the point of this video. And I'm not going to stick to a diet, may as well take a break from that as well until I get tired of it and want to go back to a strict diet. So yeah, my muscles will be getting smaller, my fat will be getting bigger, my hair getting can't get any shorter, so my hair will be getting longer. Yeah, today a friend of mine said when some girls haunted us that it's because we're like Greek gods. I didn't get it. I mean, he didn't say because we're the Greek gods, he just said Greek gods. Uh, I didn't get it because I couldn't think of myself with this body fat as looking like a Greek god. Uh, but eventually, I will be back to it. It's like, you know, I'm still in good shape. I'm not fat. It's just I'm not shredded like I was. But very ironic about the separations. Good luck, and remember, remember to check out my new Instagram, Andre Hutch, A-N-D-R-E-Y-H-U-T-C-H. Now remember, if you want to save your health, it's probably a good idea to hire me, because if you just go to some big guy in the gym, and you know, I know I'm a big guy in the gym, you may not be able to see it on camera all the time, but once again, considering that people on the street say things to me all the time about my size and my muscles, I must be big enough. But yeah, you don't want to just go to some random big guy. You don't want to just go to some random person who says some stuff. You want to come to me because I actually know my stuff. I know the human body. I know how to protect it. I know how to work with it, achieve what we want to achieve. And you wouldn't believe how many people are killing themselves with what they are doing because they have no clue what they're doing. And they go to some other guy who's been doing it for a while and he's really big. And they go, but yeah, he does it. Uh, it's worked great for him. It's like, yeah, it's worked great for growing his muscles really big, but give him a few more years and he will be in the ground. 
and you know it can work even better for growing your muscles if you know what you're doing. Plus, if you're alive for another decade or two or three or four or five. So yeah, it sounds absurd, but it's reality. So many people ruin their health using medications for bodybuilding. You don't want to be one of them. Good idea to hire me. Plus, if you just want results and you don't know what to do, I know how to get results. I don't need to do this stuff to get results, but it might be good for you. And there are other reasons why you might want to take medications, not just for bodybuilding, but for health. Which reminds me I need to finally make that video.